And the pandemic is changing the way we travel. And today we are getting an inside look at how we are being kept safe the next time we catch a flight. News 8's Chris Groh is live at the San Diego International Airport with an inside look at all the changes happening there. Chris. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Stella. And look, we've been showing you what the San Diego International Airport is doing, but now we want to show you what the TSA is doing because they play a major role in flights across the country. They are one of the few uh, entities where you actually have a point of contact even these days, but they've developed new technology, which ho they hope actually minimizes the amount of contact they make. And that actually starts with a device that scans IDs, something that you can use on your own and you don't have to give uh, your ID or wallet uh, to this uh, TSA agent, all in an effort, again, to minimize that point-to-point -point contact. Our TSA officer does not need to touch your ID. You're going to be asked to insert your own photo ID into the unit. And in doing so, there's no cross-contamination, no touch point between TSA officer and the traveler. They've also installed what they're calling a, a, a different type of a CT scanner, something uh, that's similar to an X-ray, but it generates a 3D image uh, for TSA agents to try to manipulate when you put your luggage through uh, the scanner. And that way they can actually maybe even, I know this sounds crazy, go through the luggage on the screen instead of actually having to dig through your uh, luggage. Uh, so that's interesting. We'll hear more about that coming up at 1130. Uh, but also the TSA making sure that all agents are are wearing face masks and gloves during the screening process. They also have increased uh, part, uh, partitions between them and passengers as well. And as we know, and as we've been covering all morning, San Diego International Airport also doing their part, making sure there's plenty of signage up to make sure that passengers and travelers know to maintain their social distancing. Now back out here live, it does not appear that we will have as many travelers as we have had in years past for the holidays. And the CDC also warning uh, Americans to not travel during the holidays. That is a, their official guidance to stay home. Uh, but for those that do decide to travel, another reminder, California does have a travel advisory in place that for all those either returning to California or visiting California, that they self-quarantine for 14 days. Eric and Stella, 